Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make these vibrant painted rocks that are very reminiscent of the Fabergé egg made for the Russian royal family. I just love these. These are a great way to use up rocks that aren't quite flat and aren't quite round. The egg shape is really fun to work with. So I had set some of these rocks aside because I couldn't use them for my other mandala work and I painted them black on one side to let that dry and then painted the other side. That's my Martha Stewart black satin. And then I let these dry overnight before I started with the color. And you can see I used a couple different types of rocks, some were smoother than others, but it really didn't matter on this project. I've gotten a lot of questions about paint and I'm going to show you I'm using a combination of Martha Stewart craft acrylic and then my golden fluid acrylics. The golden fluids are a little more liquidy, almost like water, and so I can thin out a paint that's too thick without losing any intensity in the color after it's dried and that is essential in this type of work. You really want to keep this intense, vibrant color. So after I've got my paints mixed up, I'm going to use a pencil eraser to create the first dot, and then I'm going to create a clockwork around that center dot. So I did a dot at 12 and a dot at 6 o'clock, and now I'm doing a dot at 9 and a dot at 3 and then I'm going to fill in the rest of that clock face with the other hours until I have 12 dots all the way around. And if you can envision that clock face as you're doing this, it will help you with your spacing. There it is. There's my clock. And now I'm going to start in the next row in the same fuchsia using a slightly larger dot just offsetting, and I'll show you that a little closer here. You can see how that dot is snug right in there, but not touching any of the other dots. Just as close as you can get without actually touching the other dots. So I'm going to go all the way around the clock face with that fuchsia until I have the next row. Now I'm not quite ready to go to the orange, so I have mixed a little bit of the fuchsia with a little bit of the orange to get a color that is a transition between the two. And you're going to do that a lot in this design. You're going to be transitioning from one color to the next by blending them. So now I've got a slightly larger tool making another row, offsetting it, and then I'll be going to the brighter orange. And after I've gotten all the way around, I'm going to let that dry for a little bit while I mix up some more paint. I'm going to be going to a yellow, but I'm going to make a transitional color by adding a little bit of the orange to it, and then getting a slightly larger dotting tool and making another row. You can see the surface of the rock is very curved, so I'm starting to angle that tool to get a nice clean dot. And I'm going to my very vibrant yellow now and having to angle the tool even more and sort of lifting up the rock on one side to get that set in there. And you can see how they have left a little bit of a bump and that's going to dry and make a nice quilted effect with the paint. Now I'm ready to start adding white to my colors because I'm going to be going uh, fading out to white as I get to the bottom of the rock and the white is pretty thick. I want this to be almost like frosting because once you get to the sides of the rock you really really don't want your paint to drip or to start sliding down the rock as it dries. So a, a thicker paint is much better here. 
I use uh, the Martha Stewart satins or I'll add the uh, a pearl paint acrylic paint and that seems to make it nice and thick so it stays in place I'm gonna let that dry for a while before I get those final white dots on there now I've got a white pearl paint that's very thick and sticky and I'm angling that on the edge of the rock and I'm gonna let that dry before I go to the other side you have to have patience with this design because once you get to the edges you've really got to give them time to dry completely before you finish so while that dries I thought I'd start on another color I grabbed some of my blue and purple paints mixed them up and I started with a clock face and started working my way out from a, a very beautiful bluish purplish indigo out to a turquoise I wanted it to remind me of a, a robin's egg. I find their shells out in the woods when I take the dogs for a walk and they're just the most beautiful turquoise. And then I decided to do some moss green as well. Now I let all of those rocks dry overnight and then I sprayed the backside and let that dry for several hours. Now I'm flipping them over and I'm going to spray the front side with my clear acrylic this will make them shiny and it will help preserve the color if I use them out in the garden in the sunlight I'm gonna let that dry and I will do a second coat and then they are all done aren't they beautiful <laughs> 